All right, today we're going through a full arm day. Sets, reps, rest time. We'll even go over to do if you accidentally sit on your balls. And if you don't get results from this one, you're defective. So if you're ready, let's get after it. So today we're doing all supersets, some of which I would bet you've never done before. And we're doing this for two reasons. First one is the connection and pump you get with these is ridiculous, especially when you really limit those rest times. The amount of metabolic stress you can induce is on a whole nother level. The second reason is because it just feels better. I don't know about you, but I'm at that awkward age in life where I'm no longer the young version of myself that didn't need an alarm clock. My dick would wake me up, I'd skip to the gym, do whatever the hell I wanted with no repercussions, no joint pain. I'd have a friend throw a medicine ball at me as I did crunches, and then I'd skip home. Now, if somebody threw a medicine ball at me, I'd puncture a lung and I'd shit liquid for a week. But I'm also not at that place where I get special treatment like discounts at the grocery store or being able to get naked in public and pretend like I'm senile so I don't get in trouble. I'm at that spot where after a long night's rest, I feel worse. I feel like somebody kicked my ass. So this is a great way to really grease everything up, get some blood in those antagonist muscles and it just feels better. And because I know people are gonna wonder what the hell this thing is, I'm beta testing this product for a company that basically just monitors your blood sugar 24 seven and gives you a little bit of insight on what's going on. It's pretty brilliant. See what foods affect you. And I didn't think there was really any downside until I was at the gym today and some kid ran up all excited. Oh my God, you're just like me. Pulled up his shirt and had an insulin pump. Yes, I'm just like you. Except I'm using mine to figure out a way to eat more fucking cookies. But other than that, same, same. So we're starting off on the Smith machine doing a reverse grip press, really targeting those triceps by tucking those elbows in. And these are great for a couple of reasons. First one is you're not gonna end your own life because yeah, you can do them with a straight bar, free weight style, but that butthole is gonna be nice and tight as you rack and unrack that weight because more than likely you're gonna take that suicide grip because it gives you the best connection. But I also think these are just better, especially when you set the bench up like this, hang your butt off the edge, really allows you to adjust the angle of your body and find what really lights those triceps up. From there, just take a little weight off, hop to the other side and go right into Smith drag curls. And I would just do a couple reps leaning forward, a couple leaning back, just to see what hurts you the most. And there is no rest in between. However long it takes you to take the weight on and off, that's it, that's right back to the pain. So I know a lot of people have speculated on why I shaved my head. Some people think I did it because I was losing my hair. Others think I did it for a dick joke, but it was obviously my way of showing support for the Free Britney movement. And what I saw was the next way to level up and go full asshole. Which is important since right now we're back in the gym amongst people that are in our way. And I've said this before, you wanna to get to the point where you're big enough that no one could say shit to you, but there's also another side to that where you wanna to get to the point where you don't even think twice. You just do what needs to be done because it's the best thing for you, like sitting on the ground next to the cable machine. And the next superset both have a mechanical drop built in. Starting out by sitting on the ground against a bench with a cable French press. As you start to fail, you lean back, get a little loose of that form, run into a cable skull crusher. Well, fuck did my armpit sweat go up? From there, take a seat, lean back at a 45 degree angle, go all the way down till you touch those legs, and then fire it up. Once you fail, we're gonna go right into one of my favorite partial movements that I love to do on a machine curl, but we can mimic the same thing on here by using those knees to stop us. Really just shorten that range of motion, cut it in half, and force out whatever dignity you have left. Don't ever let anybody tell you that regular old dumbbell curls and close grip push-ups are a bad idea. Unless you're doing 10 sets of each with no rest in between, then it's a real fucking stupid idea. And that's what we're doing. You're gonna tuck those elbows into your stomach, lean slightly forward and push it to failure each time. And then you're gonna take those pieces of shit with you to the floor and do whatever variation you connect with most. Either slightly pronate those hands, neutral grip, or even a little bit of a supination. You'll know. Trust me, you'll know. So just a heads up, the full gym program will be out two and a half, three weeks from now. And if you took the garage program, you'll get access to it first. And if you didn't, 
it's 20 bucks and it's kind of like this. We kick your ass, but with shit you have around the house, dumbbells, barbell, squat rack. If you have that, you can do it. And if you haven't seen this video yet, you're gonna wanna watch it because it'll help you fix some of the mistakes you might be making on arm day. And this one will help you with your diet, but most importantly, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.